Shalom Allah Makim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Recha Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who've taught us this truth. And honors and salutations to the elect, Doc, and doing these works in sincerity and in truth. May Yahweh Bashmasha protect us at all costs. You know, in these times, it's finally here. I got faith that he will, man. You know, and what I want to get into in this quick lesson, man, on my way to the plantation, you know, I was watching the uh, Mississippi Brothers. You know, beautiful brothers, man. Beautiful camp. And, uh, pretty much they had mentioned a point about how the Lord is a jealous power. Okay, and then even when you get into the word jealous, thing, uh, trying to remember the exact definition of what came out in the blue letter, but pretty much it said along the lines of like exclusive attention. The word exclusive definitely came out. So the Lord wants exclusive attention. He wants special attention. You know, from his hopeful elect. Right? That's So that's like you had a, 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 a damn uh, Christmas, Christmas work party, right? They'll say that in movies or something. Or you going to the to the office party, right? Where they serve drinks and not that we celebrate that bull crap uh, holiday, that bull crap wicked holiday. But uh, it's like you're there and everybody's socializing, but there's one woman who you may give exclusive attention to. You know. So where you blocking out you blocking out like everybody else and you pretty much all over her where where to where everybody can even see it. and to where they may even talk crap about you on your breath like yo he look thirsty yo he look desperate yo he fiending but you know they just being jealous because you're giving out exclusive attention so, you know, Yahweh Bashmashai wants exclusive attention, man. You know, he wants to be put first. And, uh, pretty much when you put something else first in front of Yahweh Bashmashai, because not only is the Lord a jealous power, the scriptures say he's a power that hideth himself. Let me, let me search that real quick. Alright, so Alright, Consulak is uh, Isaiah Chapter 45, verse 15 because not only is the Lord a jealous power to where he's like, you know, so that that's like you got a little a little girlfriend, man, you know, in school, but you see her, you know, vibing with somebody else. Oh, he's just my friend. Right? Oh, he's just my friend. So, you know, what should you ultimately say? Well, you know what? If that's your friend, y'all can have each other. Okay, how about that? Y'all can have each other, man. And that's the spirit that Yahweh Shemal Shai is coming in. Like, yo, have each other then. You know, if you want to put your family, your mother, your daughter, your your sister, or your wife, whoever, if you want to put them before the Lord, the Lord is in the spirit, y'all have each other. But I'm going to take back my spirit, though. You know, I'm going to take back my spirit, though. I know that. 
See, that's the jealousy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I mean, come on. Part of the reason why we in this predicament in the first place is because we worship other gods. And the Lord was like, word? oh, word? I bet. Y'all can have each other then. See, so not only is he a jealous power, he's also a power that hides himself. Isaiah 45 and 15. Verily thou art a power that hideth thyself, O power of Israel, the Savior. See? So now on top of that, he hides himself to sit back and see what you're going to do. See, so it's a it's a uh, it's a tough t it's a tough situation to the unwise because the Lord is an invisible power that hides Himself, and then on top of that, He's jealous, so He's looking back to see what you're gonna do, and if you're not putting Him first, right? He's gonna get jealous of that man, and it's easy. If you don't have any wisdom of the Lord, it's easy to not put him first because he's hiding himself. He's not physically seen. So it's not like he's inviting you. Yo, I'm having a uh, cookout and you saying, oh, nah, I can't. Man, my, my girl, you know, and such and such, man. To where you put him, putting him off in the flesh. No, but you're doing it in the spirit. See, because... First and foremost, when it's time to go camping, nothing should get in the way of that, right? So that's boom. We could check that off for those that are doing that. When it's time to do a sit down, nothing should get in the way of that. Boom. We we could check that off. To pray, our prayers don't stop, our lessons don't stop, the studying don't stop. You know, the spirit don't stop for nothing, man. That comes first. Okay, because like I've been saying, man, when you when you don't put the Lord first, he says, all right, have each other. And I got a, a, a precept for that as well. Romans chapter one, verse 26 says, for this cause, the most high gave them up unto vile affections. But see, uh, 25, who changed the truth, who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever to wob. For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affection. See, so Yahweh Hashem Al Shai will give you up unto vile affections. If the Lord sees that you care more about your wife more than Him, He will give you up to her. Go ahead, have a nigga, ninja. We had, we know a dude in the camp like that, man. Wifey was giving him hell. Wifey thought that he should put in more hours. You know. So, guess what? He he dipped. He did. He just didn't show up. Left a little note. Took my boom. Here's the tides, and that was it. Washed his hands from us, all cause of wifey. See. So the Lord, remember the script said that the Lord looketh on the inward parts. So if the Lord sees in your spirit. That your spirit is weighing you down. You don't want to come to camp. You rather make your wifey happy. The Lord sees that in the spirit. So guess what the Lord says? Boom, have each other. I'll put the battery in the back for you. For you to go ahead and do that. So that's why we don't ever want to be caught dead putting somebody else before Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because the Lord will give you up to that. And it comes with the consequences as well. While he gives you up to that, he gives you over unto the consequences that comes with putting the Lord secondarily, you know, which ultimately he catches you out of the body. And then what does the scripture say? It's better for you to cut off thy right hand than that the whole body should uh, uh, pretty much be cast into judgment. So the cutting off the hand going into, because remember the elect is one body, so... If you have a, somebody in the camp that's living, you want to cut him off, then the whole camp starts to get messed up because it is one person. So that's ultimately the judgment of getting casted out. And you can get cast out for not putting your how about your shot first. Because like I said, man, if he sees you putting somebody else first, he's going to say, word, that's how you feel? I ain't even tripping. Go ahead. Y'all have each other then. <laughs> you know? So the Lord must come first 
our life is based and centered around Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Around doing these lessons, watching these lessons. You know, and that shows forth of us putting Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai first. And giving him that exclusive attention that he deserves, man. You know, so stay more in the spirit. Focus up more. Realize and examine yourself for what you're doing. And make sure you're giving the Lord the attention that he deserves, man. And putting him first. Shalom.